Good morning children. I hope that everyone is fine and staying home safe and healthy. This pandemic has brought about a great change in everyone's life which we never expected of. But we all have accepted this challenge and the new system of online teaching has helped the students to become more of self-learners and understand their self-strength. I have seen that some of the students have done really good and I hope that in the near future all the students are with their textbooks and they're doing their work sincerely and showing their best in the truest sense. Thank you, children. Hello, children. I'm Sandhya Kathuria, your maths teacher. I hope you all are ready with your textbook and your registers. Today, I'm going to introduce lesson number three of your book. The name of the lesson is Rational Numbers. The word rational comes from the term ratio. We know that the ratio like 3 is to 5 can be written in the form of 3 upon 5. Thus, any number that can be expressed in the form p upon q, where p and q are integers and q is not equal to 0, is called a rational number. For example, 4 upon 5. This is called a rational number, where p is 4 and q equals to 5. In the same way, minus 3 upon 7 is also a rational number. Minus 3 and 7 both are integers. P equals to minus 3 and Q equals to 7. In the same way, 5 upon minus 3 is also a rational number with P equals to 5 and Q equals to minus 3. And in the same way, minus 6 upon minus 11 is also an example of rational number. Now, I am going to tell some important points related to rational numbers. Every integer can be written as p upon q, where q equals to 1. For example, 5. 5 is a whole number, but it can be written in the form of rational number, like 5 upon 1. It becomes a rational number. Similarly, minus 3 can be written as minus 3 upon 1, which represents a rational number. And 0 can be written as 0 upon 1, which is also a rational number. Now, next point is, since division by 0 is not allowed, 1 upon 0 is not a rational number. And the next point, the decimal numbers are all rational numbers. For example, 0 0.6. You know, 0 0.6 can be written as 6 upon 10. And when you reduce it to the lowest terms, you will get 3 upon 5, which is a rational number. In the same way, 2.5, it can be written as 25 upon 10. And when you reduce it to the simplest form, you will get 5 upon 2. So, you have obtained a rational number. Now, some important terms related to rational numbers. Equivalent rational numbers. Two or more rational numbers are called equivalent rational numbers if they have the same value. So let us take an example. Suppose I give you minus 2 upon 7 and I tell you to convert it into equivalent rational numbers. You have to obtain two equivalent rational numbers to minus 2 upon 7. So you have to multiply both the numerator and denominator with the same number. Here I am multiplying minus 2 by 2 and 7 also by 2. So I will get minus 4 upon 40 which is equivalent to minus 2 upon 7. To obtain one more equivalent rational number to minus 2 upon 7, I will multiply both the numerator and denominator by 3 and 3. So minus 2 into 3 is minus 6 and 7 into 3 is 21. Therefore, minus 2 upon 7, minus 4 upon 14 and minus 6 upon 21 are all equivalent rational numbers because the values are the same. Now positive and negative rational numbers. A rational number is called a positive rational number if its numerator and denominator are either both positive integers or both negative integers. For example, 5.7, 17 upon 3, and minus 3 upon minus 8. These all are positive rational numbers. A rational number is called a negative rational number if its numerator and denominator are such that 
one of them is positive integer and the other is a negative integer for example minus 3 upon 8 minus 15 upon 8 7 upon minus 11 these all are examples of negative rational numbers now how to write the standard form of a rational number a rational number is said to be in the standard form or the simplest form if its denominator is positive and the numerator and the denominator have no common factor other than 1. For example, minus 2 upon 5. Here the denominator is positive and they have no common factor other than 1. Similarly, minus 3 upon 2. This is also the standard form of the rational number. Now suppose I give you a question 36 upon minus 24 and you have to convert it into the standard form. So the first step is that you have to remove the minus sign from the denominator. So you have to multiply both the numerator and denominator by minus 1. So 36 into minus 1 becomes minus 36 and minus 24 into minus 1 becomes 24. Now we will find the HCF of 36 and 24 which is 12. So we will divide minus 36 by 12 and 24 also by 12 to convert it into the simplest form. So we will get minus 3 upon 2. So this is the standard form of 36 upon minus 24. The denominator is positive and 3 and 2 have no common factor other than 1. Now children, I hope that you will be able to do exercise 3.1 of this chapter. See, the first question is, which of the following are positive rational numbers? So you can easily find out the positive rational numbers. Like 5 upon 8 is a positive rational number. 0 upon 5 is a positive rational number. 7, which can be written as 7 upon 1 is a positive rational number. Similarly, minus 3 and minus 30, they both have negative negative sign. So, this is a positive rational number. Similarly, minus 17 upon minus 6 is also a positive rational number. The second question is, which of the following are negative rational numbers? So, you can find out the negative rational numbers from them. Negative rational means either the numerator is negative or the denominator is negative. Like minus 5 upon 7, this is a negative rational number. 4 upon minus 3, minus 6, which can be written as minus 6 upon 1 is a negative rational number. And minus 28 upon 5, these all are negative rational numbers. Likewise, question number 3, find 4 rational numbers equivalent to each of the following rational numbers. 3 upon minus 7. So, to obtain 4 rational numbers, you will multiply both the numerator and denominator by the same number in each step. Like first you are multiplying by 2 and 2, then you are multiplying by 3 and 3, then you are multiplying by 4 and 4 and then you are multiplying and 5 and 5. Okay, so you will obtain 4 equivalent rational numbers. Now the fourth question is, write each of the following rational numbers with positive denominator. To obtain positive denominator, you have to multiply both the numerator and denominator by minus 1 each. So 4 into minus 1 will become minus 4 and minus 9 into minus 1 will become 9. So that means the negative sign will be shifted to the numerator and it will become a, a rational number with a positive denominator. Now question number 5, express 5 upon minus 9 as a rational number with numerator 20. So how will you convert 5 into 20? You know, which number you will multiply 5 to obtain 20? 5 will be multiplied by 4. But you cannot multiply only the numerator. You have to multiply both the numerator and denominator with the same number. 5 into 4 is 2. 20 and minus 9 into 4 is minus 36. So 20 upon minus 36 is the required rational number. So now children, you please complete this exercise 3.1 given on page number 65.
थैंक यू सो मच